And we're into warm indoors right now and at a gorgeous spot. I'm here with Neil. You're the floriculturalist former. Did I get that correct? That is correct. That's, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Thanks for having us here. It's a gorgeous space right when you walk in the door. And you guys are really ringing in the holidays here. Yes, we are. We've got a collection of poinsettias that we are on display. We've got a lot of holiday lights, fresh cut trees, and of course the model trains. Oh, yes. And you say poinsettia. Okay, so I've always said poinsettias. You say poinsettia. Is there a difference between the two or is it you can pick whichever one you want? You can pick whichever one you want. I just try to use all the vowels, and so poinsettia has the I and the A at the end. <laughs> use all the vowels. I like that. Okay, this plant over here, this poinsettia, kind of represents why poinsettias became part of a holiday tradition here in the States. So this particular poinsettia is one of the earliest ones developed from the 1920s. This variety is called Henrietta's Ecchi, and it comes from San Diego. Okay, so why did it become such a popular tradition here in the States? Well, the poinsettias were first discovered in Central America, particularly Mexico, and the U.S. ambassador to Mexico, uh, his name was Joel Roberts Poinsett, and so the, point, the plant is named after him, after he brought it back to South Carolina and started his own greenhouses. All right, so you've got so many different varieties here between this and the Garfield Park Conservatory, over 700 different kinds of point, or different poinsettia plants. Poinsettia, poinsettia, I keep on messing that up. But the point is we're going to talk about more of that a little bit because this runs through January 6th here at the Lincoln Park Zoo, more, or the Lincoln Park Conservatory. The moment you walk in here, you see the lights, you see the poinsettias, and you smell everything, Neil. It really does get you in the mood, doesn't it? It's a great time of year, and, you know, we're open every day of the year. You need a place to come on Christmas, on New Year's. We're here. We've got the trains going. It's a great place to bring your family. I got to say, open on Christmas Day, New Year's Day, 9 to 5, and 9 to 5 throughout the rest of the days. What a wonderful way to celebrate the holiday season. I just want to talk about a few of these poinsettias. It is a national poinsettia day. What I, you don't just ship these things in and put them in the ground. You guys, you guys cultivate things throughout the year and throughout many years, right? Yes, I've got a dedicated staff that grows the poinsettias from small cuttings um, starting in May. And then we've got some that we bring back each year that look like trees. So various heights, various sizes, and various ways to grow them. And you're also having radio flyer. We see the wagon here there. Uh, this is a part of a throwback, and that's sort of the theme here for this holiday season. The holiday memory show features um, radio flyer because they are an iconic element of Christmas and other holidays. So we're very thankful for their donations. That's wonderful. I'm going to open up all these gifts, guys, in a little <laughs> bit. Every single one of them, I'm going to bring back some of these gifts back to you guys in the studio. So, all right, so I, everyone has poinsettias for the holiday season, and I might as well ask the expert, Neil, can you keep these things alive? What is so difficult about them? How long can we keep poinsettias going? Uh, you can keep them alive, but really just throw them out. <laughs> <laughs> really? So after the holiday season? No, you can keep them alive. You just need to cut them back and recognize they need a little bit of a dormancy, which means no water. Uh, and then come September, they want to make sure that there's not extra light. So no street light, no outside ambient light, no light in the house because the flowers only start to produce on short day, so they respond to the lack of light. Okay, that seems really complicated. Just throw them out Just after the holiday. Just throw them out. Yeah. <laughs> Buy new ones. All right. So obviously we've got so many poinsettias here, or poinsettias, depending on what you call it. It's a gorgeous display, and it's all free. Yes, it is. Uh, open 9 to 5 every day, including Christmas. Come, come see us. We're open. Exactly. And it's free. Come on by. And I got to say, walking through not only this room, the, hall, uh, the, the showroom, the fern room, it really does take you, it makes you escape the city urban life that we have. It's a nice respite because uh, we're such a source of education. I mean, plants you would never see unless you had the opportunity to travel to the tropics. So we're really fortunate to be able to show this to everybody. All right. One of the themes here this year is kind of a throwback theme. You got some paintings uh, behind us or some photos. I like this one particularly over here. They're throwbacks to like the 40s era, right? Yes. Between the 40s, 30s, 60s, uh, just a collection of photography and they are part of the holiday memories. I love that photo. It doesn't look staged at all here. Like those two women. That's just naturally how they were taking care of the poinsettias. And guess what, guys? We've recreated the photo here. How you feel, Neil? Very tall. Yeah, exactly. Show off. Let's, where are your heels? Come on. Oh, here they are. Let's go. <laughs> there we go. Recreating the 40s photo right here at the Lincoln Park Conservatory. This show is out here till January 6th, including Christmas and New Year's Day. Guys, it's awesome. Check it out. Well, first of all, it's warm and dry here in the Lincoln Park Conservatory. We're in the fern room now. And guys, I'm actually blown away. I've never been here. Some of these species are from the Cretaceous period or before that. Little changed in 200 million years. They grow fast and it's nice and toasty in here. Wish I could say the same outside. Sunny skies are what these uh, these ferns like in here. It's just like we've walked straight in to Jurassic. I feel like a dinosaur is going to pop out at any moment, Felicia, here. It's a gorgeous look at the Lincoln Park Conservatory. you got to come check it out.